Hey, sons and daughters of God, October 2nd, by abiding in Christ, the source of power. Colossians 2, verse 9 and 10 says, For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, and you are complete in him, which is the head of all principality and power. The Lord Jesus acts through the Holy Spirit, for it is his representative. Through it, he infuses spiritual life into the soul, quickening its energies for good, cleansing it from moral defilement, and giving it a fitness for his kingdom. Jesus has large blessings to bestow, rich gifts to distribute among men. He is the wonderful counselor, infinite in wisdom and strength, and if we all acknowledge the power of his spirit and submit to be molded by it, we shall stand complete in him. What a thought is this. In Christ dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, and you are complete in him. Never will the human heart know happiness until it is submitted to be molded by the Spirit of God. The Spirit conforms the renewed soul to the model, Jesus Christ. Through the influence of the Spirit, enmity against God is changed into faith and love, and pride into humility. The soul perceives the beauty of truth, and Christ is honored in excellence and perfection of character. As these changes are effected, angels break out in rapturous song, and God and Christ rejoice over souls fashioned after the divine similitude. Jehovah Emmanuel, he in whom are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge, in whom dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, to be brought into sympathy with him, to know him, <clears throat> to possess him, as the heart opens more and more to receive his attributes, to know his love and power, to possess the unsearchable riches to Christ of Christ to comprehend more and more what is the breadth and length and depth and height and to know the love of Christ which passeth knowledge that you might be filled with all the fullness of God this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their righteousness is of me saith the Lord I hope you have a great day you're a son and daughter of God